to get the latest date for ID3 or the value in cell G2 use the max function and a logical expression this value equal the values in this column or cell range and this will return an array containing true or false and then multiply that array with the dates here and dates are numbers in Excel so if a value if a date is multiplied with true it returns the date and if it is multiplied with false it returns zero so an ending parenthesis and then enter this as an array formula and for ID 3 we have that value here 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 and here the latest date is this date here and it seems to be correct yes to get the corresponding value in column D or value ID 3 we need to use another logical expression so the first logical expression was this value equal this cell range and the second logical expression must be I'm going to show you the values first in this array so extend the formula and here are the values and you can see that it returns true when this value is equal to this value and it returns false if this value is not equal to this value and the second logical expression is going to be this date here equal the dates in this column and it will return true for only one date I believe and it's this date here the next thing to do is to build an array that contains row numbers for this array and to do that I'm going to use the match function and the row function and the cell reference is going to be this and row once again and then this and an ending parenthesis for the match function now enter this as an array formula and it will return 1 2 it will return as many numbers as the number of cells you have in your array or cell range and it will start with 1 and in this case it ends with 17 so what happens if we multiply this array with this array and with this array copy the logical expressions and then asterisk and then copy the second logical expression and, and an asterisk to multiply the third array and the third array is this array this formula copy that and paste it and now we have 
all the logical expressions and an array so what happens true multiplied with false is the same as one multiplied with zero so this is zero and zero multiplied with one is zero so it returns zero for this value so if we extend the formula so we can see all the values in the array you will now see that it returns zero for almost all the values except this one and it has true in both these logical expressions and now we can sum all the values in this array and use it to get the corresponding value from this column here and I'm not going to use this sum function here because you you need to enter it as an array formula for that to work now I will use the sum product function and a beginning parenthesis and then the formula and then an ending parenthesis and now press enter and you can see that it returns 7 and you don't need to enter it as an array formula and then use the index function to get the value from row 7 in this column and row 7 is this value here index function and the cell reference to this cell range comma and the second argument in the index function is the row number and then an ending parenthesis and now enter it and press enter only now the corresponding value for ID number 3 and the latest date is 59 